Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and in today's video I want to give you guys a little bit of an after report of what happened in the live event in Sarum Prime um, and in Amar. Uh, so how all of this started was with a news post on the community website where it was announced that a small fleet of uh, capitals and super capitals was heading towards Amar and uh, that those ships belonged to uh, part of the navy um, that handles the security of the imperial family. So that gave credence to the report that the Empress Jamil uh, Sarum would um, would like join some sort of ceremony at the Vecchior graveyard in Sarum Prime. Uh, she would be there in person and so this, this said that okay this is probably going to happen uh, in the next few hours. Uh, this news post was shared pretty quickly in game in the live events channel in the Eric Jalan channel um, and over Twitter which is where I saw it first. So you had many ways to know that this event was actually coming and we had several hundred people that gathered in Sarum Prime um, to see if the Empress would show up. And of course, I think there were a lot of loyalists there, but also a lot of people were maybe thinking, uh, are we going to get a drifter invasion or a drifter attack on this ceremony again, uh, which had just happened uh, like a week or two weeks before that, when CVA held, uh, held uh, another ceremony at the Vecchior graveyard. So uh, it turns out that uh, the Empress would not show up directly at the graveyard, but she actually undocked uh, from a station in Amar. Uh, so in, in like the prime system, the trade hub, that was really cool. Uh, first we had several uh, super capitals, a couple of Aeons uh, undocking there and uh, then the uh, Titan actually showed up. Uh, which didn't entirely make sense, the Titan is actually a little bit too big. But let's, let's just say that uh, it somehow transported there, it didn't exactly come out of the station. That's maybe a possibility. But it was a pretty cool sight. And, uh, Doing this in a trade hub I do think gave it a lot of exposure to maybe new players as well that uh, don't really have an idea what a titan looks like. I think that could have been a very cool experience for uh, for new players that happened to be uh, in Amar at that time. Um, after that the entire fleet uh, warped off towards uh, Sarum Prime and then they went to uh, the uh, Vecchior graveyard there to hold the ceremony. Uh, basically it was not much more than um, a big speech by the Empress uh, about uh, how this was a, a victory uh, given to them by God. Basically it was all about the Amar faith, uh, keep the faith, keep the line, uh, just keep uh, working hard for uh, for the Empire and uh, yeah it's it's very uh, a very religious society, the Amar society and you did see that uh, in the speech that was given there. That's when the surprise came uh, at the end of the speech there were several vessels from the Society of Conscious Thought so I think there was actually two of them that did not belong to Capsuleers and one that did belong to a Capsuleer. I think that's how it worked. Uh, but at least one of them was definitely uh, flown by uh, a pilot from uh, the uh, Society of Conscious Thought and he started scanning uh, the Titan with what looked like the same scanning tech as a Drifter. So possibly an Entosis link, possibly something else as well. We don't exactly know. Uh, but I, I think that from the kill mail it was an Entosis link. Um, and that's when a, a pretty uh, fiery uh, discussion started between uh, the Empress and that uh, representative from the Society of Conscious Thought. Uh, so she, uh, she just she was basically yelling uh, at him, "What are you doing? Seize immediately with our, uh, with the scanning and and move to a safe distance." Um, in the end, like he definitely did several more scans of the ship. Uh, he said, okay, we know what we need to know and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave. He started leaving. Uh, he was chased by uh, a lot of the capsuleers, so they were right on his tail. Uh, they were already firing snowballs and, uh, and whatever else they could, like fireworks at the, uh, at the Gnosis there. But, um, but uh, after he decided to retreat and he really didn't show any sign of aggression, uh, the Empress actually gave the order to, uh, to shoot him, uh, to shoot him down. So if, uh, that's basically what happened. Uh, I'm guessing that the Amar Navy can also set someone as a suspect. Uh, that for for the lower part in the Amar owned systems, they can actually decide. Okay, you're actually a criminal. You're going down, and people can shoot you without concord intervention. And so that's what happened. Uh, he went suspect. People started shooting him. He actually held out very long. So uh, keep that in mind. Society of Conscious Thought has links with the Jove Empire, so they actually have 
uh, some pretty powerful tech available to them and uh, he tanked all that damage quite uh, long uh, but in the end his ship was destroyed he was spotted as well i think someone must have uh, scooped up the corpse at least that's what a lot of people i think would have gone for straight away i was filming of course so no way for me to do that um, but this was uh, in my opinion uh, like a pretty dangerous move uh, on one part understandable using some strange tech on the ship that is being flown by uh, the uh, the empress of of uh, the amar empire is well, something that's rather uh, provocative um, but on the other hand we are dealing with the society of conscious thought they are linked to the ded and to the jove to uh, to go and piss them off is maybe not the uh, the best move but yeah that's basically what happened during this event after that everyone uh, the empress warped back towards amar and i don't think we actually saw a docking or anything like that but uh, that was the end of the event i thought it was really cool um, to to see all of this happen uh, and to be a part of that of course i'm more part of the galente uh, so uh, seeing the empress get angry like that and then decide to actually destroy a ship from the society of conscious thought uh, feels a little bit weird but uh, that's what happened no drifters uh, have been spotted during this event so there you go guys that's my quick after report of the event in siren prime thank you very much for watching i'll see you all next time